Hi, I'm Dan Marshall. Welcome to my studio in Denver, Colorado. Today I'm going to do a demo in conjunction with an article I wrote for Watercolor Artist Magazine discussing motion in watercolor. Uh, the purpose of this demo is uh, really more about discussing edges and how we can implement them to sort of indicate and suggest movement and energy in our paintings and keep them from being sort of boring and lifeless. Drawing prepared here, that is a uh, motorcycle guy kind of running down the road, so it's a perfect opportunity to sort of exploit some of these ideas. Um, we'll be looking at uh, soft edges to create a sort of motion and blur. Uh, we'll be using a lot of lost and found and broken edges to suggest detail, and then we'll be using some hard edges to really sort of bring our eye into the focal point. By using all these uh, different types of edges that are available to us in watercolor, we can really create paintings that are full of life and energy. Uh, the sketch that I'll be painting from was done on location at the Race of Gentlemen in uh, Loudwood, New Jersey. So this is a very sort of loose gestural sketch. The nice thing about this is that I'm not really tied into photo reference and I can just make a lot of this stuff up. Um, using my sketch as a reference, I'll take that and I'll, I'll sort of expand on it a little bit, um, but I'm not going to be too bogged down in, in details and, and worrying about what type of bike it is or any of that business. Um, I just concentrate on uh, creating the movement and energy um, that I captured in the sketch and uh, hopefully transfer that to a slightly larger painting. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start with laying in some water. I'm going to put my background in first. And on this first wash, I'm just establishing tones and colors, and this will be a fairly abstract uh, first wash, uh, kind of laying in the foundation for the whole painting. Um, I'm going to be putting some water down first to sort of keep some edges soft, and then just letting the pigment kind of run into some of this. So. here, some through there, all right, I will cut a little bit careful around the helmet there. Some more water and really this is just kept abstract at this point and this is just water to soften this edge here but right from the get-go we can start to get some sort of action and, and motion through here And this is a brush that I've pulled the pigment out of, and I'm just creating some streaks of light that sort of shoot through, shoot out that way. And again, as I said, this is really just establishing some color that's in this first wash. Some more water here. And this whole bike area is going to be fairly dark, so I'm, I'm not worried about any of that yet. And I'm going to leave this fairly vignetted. So 
so I'm leaving a lot of the the paper open here because I want this sort of just shooting out of this side and, and, and shooting this way. Um, there'll be a, f a fairly good amount of sort of design happening here. That'll pretty much do it for the first wash. Okay, so I'll need to let this dry before I continue. But I can just still come and play with some stuff here. But really the, the key to this is starting off very abstract and loose. I'm not really, I'm not cutting around anything. I, I, I've left a little bit of a highlight on the back of the shirt. Um, I want the flesh tones to be clean, so I've got that. Okay, so step one is sufficiently dry. I've got my main energy already starting here. I've got sort of the vignette laid in of, of where I want to keep the white paper. And uh, uh, I've got some of the undertone for the pants and the helmet in. Um, the rest, a lot of this is going to be very dark, as I said. So um, I, I can go ahead and, and, and leave that for right now. Okay, so next, basically, this whole motorcycle and rider is, 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 is one shape. Um, and I'm going to sort of paint it as such. Now, all of this stuff over here is going to be fairly tight with no sort of, um, no, uh, like motion blurs coming off of it. And this side will. So I'm going to paint basically this way. So as I come over to here, this stuff will all stay wet. So I can start to pull some of that off into the background. careful of the shape of the helmet here. It's wet. I'll drop in some darks to round out the form a little bit. Just carry a little bit of that round volume. I'm gonna drop in just a little bit of water for a little bit of a highlight on the top here. And I'm gonna use some really thick pigment and dark at the bottom to start to suggest in the goggle on the helmet here. I'm going to go right into my flesh tones. I'm going to leave just a little bit of separation there because there will be very dark where that comes through there. some of this to run and bleed in. We'll get a little darker under here. And we'll let that dry for just a second. And I want to put in the, the sort of chin strap while that's still wet so it all sort of connects together. And this will be very thick pigment and not too much of it on the brush, so it doesn't bleed all over the place. But it will create a very soft edge on here. Just a little bit of water for a highlight on the cheek. Give it a little bit of a nose. 
and some lip there. And I think I'm gonna pull a little bit of red just from there, just to create a little bit more of an echo with that color. I'm gonna flip it. And this will be soften this I think a important thing here is that you know I'm really painting this I'm not just layering, laying in the perfect, perfect tone. I just keep playing with it. Pull some of it out there. That's the start of that. Okay, so another important thing to notice here is I'm working top to bottom. I've put in this top, I've, I've worked my way down. So same thing with the, with the helmet and the head. I'm starting at the top and working my way down, but I'm gonna be sort of coming over this way. So next I'm gonna work on this shirt area here. I'm just mixing up sort of a, sort of a grayishy, grayishy color here. with just a little bit of water to keep some of the edges soft in there as we create some of the wrinkle shapes. And we'll keep picking up this red. Just a little bit darker here. We'll come down into the sleeve. Some more darks in here. And at this point, I do want to catch, start to catch some of these edges while they're wet to have them just sort of melt into the rest of the bike. I need to get his glove on here.
just all just sort of start to start to sort of blur in together and connect. Okay, starting to build the form there. Just a little more shadow here. And then he's got kind of one of these old sort of Harley sweaters on that have the striped. So before this is completely dry, I'm gonna put in some of these arm stripes. striped sweater look. <clears throat> and then while all this, this is still wet, we need to start to get in these darks of the bike. stuff can all just merge and meld together. So this stuff is now a bit thicker than what I was using before. for the top of the tire here. And the tires are always a pain to get the right angle and roundness. So I'm being a little careful here. And then all this tire shape needs to stay wet because this will end up tying right into our shadow. So I'm going to build up a pretty good pool of pigment here to make sure this stays wet so I can tie it into tied into the ground. Get his foot in that business there. This will frame in his leg.
to soften this edge here just a little bit. Just to keep this from getting too dark and heavy, I'm gonna drop in just a little bit of some lavenders here. Okay, so that puts us at another kind of stopping point before I can go into here. This is all so dark, I can connect into very easily. Okay, so before I start this tail area. I'm gonna drop in a little bit more water, just so I can, that'll stay nice and soft, so I can pull that color coming right out of there. Keep just a little bit of a highlight on the tail fender here. I'll connect right into this other stuff that we left over here. And I'll turn it again. And I want to get a little bit more of this stuff happening out here. That's sort of the edge where the tail is coming out. And I'm just tilting the board here to help that run a little bit. So for the top of this tire, we're going to soften that again so we get a little bit of a rounded form on the tire. And then we'll come back in with this darker stuff. Switch to a smaller brush. Again, to catch this form of the tire. Okay. Now, while this is all still wet, I'm gonna come in with just some water and Pull some of this off here. This can come out here. Some dry brush. And this is all just to soften that edge and to create this sort of energy shooting out this way. Okay. Can do some flicks. And I want this shooting out this way, so I'm going to flick this way. I've got some stuff flying off there. And then I can come in with some water again and just and blur some of that off. And the last 
lot of this is just continual manipulation. Soften this edge a bit. Just coming in with a little bit of water here to pull this out. Okay, now I've got to connect this shadow area in. There's a couple shapes here I need to correct. Drop that right into that wet stuff there.
most of this is established at this point. And again, I have to be a little careful with this number because it needs to look correct. again and just use gravity to let this bleed out. Just picking up a little bit off the top of the back there. Okay, I'll come in with a little bit of gouache. And I forgot his shop rag. For a little bit more color. And I just like the way it looks. Like he's got a shop rag hanging out of his pocket here and it's swooshing there. of dust being kicked up here, dirt flying. Just a little more highlight through here. Signature. And that just about does it. Okay. Okay, so I'm pretty much finished here, but there's a couple things I see that I just want to uh, correct. I'm going to add a shadow. I'm going to sort of alter the, the, angle, the shadow that's on his leg here coming through here from his arm. Let's see, there we go. Bring that there. Just kind of break up that dark. It's a little too dark there. So just break that up. in here and this is a little dark in here so I'm just gonna I'm gonna speckle in just a little bit of spray it just a little bit of light here just to break up that shape and get rid of some of that where I don't like it and I'm 
might introduce a little bit of this background color as an accent into the bike. Just a little bit. Just a hair. Okay, so now we're now we're done. And I always like to, you know, let the painting sit for a minute, and then uh, I'll walk away from it, come back, take a look, and see if there's anything else I need to do. Okay, well, thanks for joining me in the studio this afternoon. Uh, I had a lot of fun painting this motorcycle guy and talking about some different uh, tips and tricks and techniques that you can add to your painting repertoire to create a little bit of movement and motion in your paintings and to show you how I approach subjects with a little bit more of a painterly mindset instead of a uh, coloring in the lines approach to things. Okay well I hope to see you soon and thanks again for watching. Happy painting!